Hey, what's up, guys? Got a lot of questions about this blood script, so I figured I'd run everybody through it, make sure everybody's on the same uh, same page here. Make sure you guys have your settings set the same as I do when I made it. So first comes to first, you're going to want to set your UI general scale and both your sensitivities. So that's your left, right, and your up, down sensitivities to max on arc. Left, right sensitivity, max. Up, down sensitivity, max. UI general scale, max. You also want to set, make sure you have windowed full screen. This is critical. Make windowed full screen and 1920 by 1080. You guys that have bigger resolutions, you know, you go up to 2500, whatever it is, you're, you're going to have to scale down to 1920 by 1080. Cause that's, uh, that's what this script was written in. So, unfortunately, you guys are just going to have to deal with that. So, Set your mouse DPI to 9,000. I know this seems like a lot, but at one point in the script, it will exit you from a tech pod and it needs to be able to look back around at that tech pod. And if you don't have max sensitivity and 9,000 DPI, it won't be able to turn around fast enough to look at that tech pod. So if you can't do 9,000 DPI, if your mouse doesn't go that high or whatever, you can't figure it out, you can technically edit the mouse move coordinates of the script. The script uses mouse move movements to point your script at a certain, to point your cursor at a certain place on the screen. So if you have a mouse coordinate system, if you don't have one, download one here. This is the one I use, which is this one right here. It tells you where on the screen you are, which is helpful for editing or writing scripts. You can edit these mouse move coordinates with what's on here in the order. So 256, 274, which you can ch change them with whatever's here in the order. There's a couple of them, a couple of mouse moves. The only one you won't need to change is the 00. Just leave the 00 as it is, doesn't matter. But yeah, you can tune those if uh, if you can't set your mouse scale to, D to mouse DPI to 9000. So, mouse coordinate program. Don't have one? Here's where you get it. So, of course, you this is a blood script. You're going to need a blood extraction syringe. It has to be in your second inventory slot. Your implant's usually in your first inventory slot. I usually do it naked in case, you know, the worst happens, server lag hits or something like that. And it ends up, you know, killing me because there's a point where it puts you in a tech pod. But, you know, if the server lags at the point of the script where it says to put you in a tech pod, you just won't go in the tech pod and it'll extract your blood and you'll die. So, second inventory slot. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Sometimes there's an HNLA, HLNA, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, there's one around here somewhere. Uh, you want to get rid of that before you start this. It doesn't matter what you have in your inventory, admittedly, as long as this is in your second inventory slot. But like I said, I like to do this naked in case something happens. So let's go back to our script here. So the script extracts blood as I have it right now blood extraction script for 350 HP, it'll extract 13 times at 25 health per extraction. Currently set for someone with 350 health. If you have less health than this, remove one of the send E and sleep 6000 codes as described in 5A below. Here's 5A. You can count 13 send E codes below for 350 health. There should be a maximum of 13. You don't want to do 14 because 13 by 25 is 325. So you don't, you know, if you have 350 health, you don't want to kill yourself. Hopefully, you don't want to kill yourself. So you only want to do 325 health. For each send E code, make sure you delete the sleep 6000 timer below it. Otherwise, you're just going to be waiting around for no reason. So I'm going to read the line below because it's kind of critical. When you delete those codes, make sure you do it from the middle of the script. The start of the script has these sleep 1000 and sleep 500 codes that are mandatory. You need those. So if you're going to change anything, if you're going to add a, add anything here, if you've got more health or less health, you're going to take some away. Let's say maybe you want to take away three of these. Take them away from the middle or somewhere close to the middle or you want to add three, you know, copy them. No, that's two, but copy them and add them, whatever you want to do. But just make sure you do it from the middle because you don't want to mess with anything outside of the send E. You shouldn't mess with anything outside of these. Admittedly, we're going to mess with this one down here later, but that's more to come. So 
just edit these. All right. So the script waits 54 seconds for someone with 350 health to heal in a tech pod. Tune the sleep 54,000 line, which is at the bottom of the script I just showed you, for however long it takes you to heal to 100% health. So time yourself. Extract health, even if you have to do it manually, extract your health until you get down to 25 health. Time it, time yourself, figure out how long it takes. Sleep 1000 is one second. So however long it takes, multiply it by 1000. Let's say it took you 43 seconds. You would do sleep 43,000 right here. But for me, it takes 54 seconds. So well, technically it takes 53 seconds, but I wanted a second buffer in there, so I put 54,000. So once you have it tuned to your health, lay down in a tech pod just to make sure you have full, you know, full stat, full health, food, water. I have the script somewhere on my desktop just so it's easy to access and I can turn it on whenever I'm ready to go. I'm going to go do that right now. So just double clicked on the script to activate it right now. It looks like nothing happened, but if you click on it again, an error will pop up saying the script is already running. So just click no or click X, whatever you want to do. So with the script running, move your mouse till your mouse position program. This one here says zero, zero. And after it says zero, zero, do not move your mouse. When it says zero, zero, I literally turn my mouse upside down so I can't accidentally hit it and I move it out of the way completely. So once your mouse says zero, zero, you're going to press E to exit the tech pod. I'll show you right now. So let's go set our mouse to zero, zero. So as you see, I have full health, full food, full water. I'm in a tech pod right now. That's me, middle. Hi, Q Fang. Hello, bikini. I'm going to set my mouse to zero, zero. So you see my coordinate system slowly going down. So now I'm at zero, zero. It doesn't matter how much you move as long as your mouse is at zero, zero. I have now turned my mouse upside down and moved it away from me so I can't hit it accidentally. Press E to exit your tech pod as you normally would. Every time you exit the tech pod, it'll put you facing the same direction and standing in the same pot, spot. Excuse me. Press F1 to start the script. It will automatically pull up your menu and move your mouse over to where your blood extraction syringe is and extract the blood immediately. It will continue to do so every six seconds. The cooldown for your blood extraction syringe is five seconds. I had it set to 5.5 seconds it would extract your blood, but server lag meant that every now and then it wouldn't extract my blood. So I rather increase it to six seconds and lose one second every extraction than have it set to 5.5 and lose two or three extraction every round of extractions I was doing. So it will continuously extract my blood until I hit about 25 health. And you can fine tune this if you want. If you don't want to get down to 25 health, you can set it to 50 health, whatever. Some people will get really ballsy with it and they'll have it extract past 25 health because as you see, I'm slowly healing a little bit. I've got an extra 4.5 health right now. So I could technically do another extraction, but I don't like to risk it. So you see the script points me at the tech pod, pulls up the E wheel, lies back down in the tech pod. It's now healing me, of course, as a tech pod does until I get to full health. This is where my sleep 54,000 comes in. It's going to wait 54 seconds right now to heal me back to 350 health. You can see that my mouse coordinate system says 1,256 and 449. Before it exits me from the tech pod, it will reset that to 0, 0. It will then press E to exit me from the tech pod and pull up my inventory and start the script all over again. You do not have to do anything. You still haven't touched your mouse. You don't need to do anything past what you've done. This, The whole rest of this is automatic. If this is not happening, as you see here, this means your settings are not correct. You have to make sure that your UI general scale is set to max. 
your up, down, left, right sensitivity is set to max, and your screen resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. Everything else here should be completely automatic. You shouldn't have to touch it after this. This is an extremely reliable script. Outside of server lag, you should never have a problem. So let's say that you want to pause the script. Right now I press F2. That will pause the script. Let's say someone was talking to me. I can talky, 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 and blah, 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 I'm done. I'm done talking. I can click F2 to resume the script from where I left off. It'll continue feeding my blood. Extracting my blood. Now let's say... Let's say you pressed F2 to pause the script. You exited your script. You did whatever you needed to do. You took maybe, let's say, 10 minutes doing whatever it was. You're not sure where you left off in the script. Let's say you wanted to reset it. You could press F4 to cancel the script. Double click on the script again. Lie in the tech pod. If you're fully healed, you could immediately press E and then F1. But you could press F3 to reset back to the start of the script. And when you're fully healed, it's just going to take a second here. So I've just pressed F3. That's put me back to the start of the script. I'm now full health. So I can set my mouse to 0, 0 again. Critical, you set your mouse to 0, 0. Press E to exit the tech pod. F1 to start all over again. This should be all you need. Like I said, if it's not working for you, you've got some kind of problem with your resolution or your mouse DPI or your sensitivities, you can always message me. Uh, my link is in the YouTube description below. Uh, it's just my Discord. Uh, if you want to, you know, we can do a call. You can stream your screen. If you just want to send me screenshots of what your problem is or what you think the problem is, we can run through it together. Not a problem. I'll let you know what I think the fix is. But yeah, don't hesitate to message me, and that should be it. It's a very simple script. I know the instructions are not a... Uh, <laughs> Not quite as simple as they look. Hopefully this video helped you a little bit, but if not, like I said, feel free to message me. If you don't have the script, feel free to message me or grab it from someone else. Uh, if you just even need help fine-tuning it to whatever your health is, let me know and we can get it fine-tuned. I can't imagine you needing anything else. Uh, like I said, message me with any questions and good luck. Hopefully you can tame a lot of Bloodstalkers with this. Have a good one, guys.